that scientists, atheists object to uh, what Islam says and to this particular hadith? Yes, there are a bunch of hadith uh, which speak about the major signs of the Day of Judgment have been explained in details and of course in the course of Aqeedah will uh, subject that in details. Uh, such as when the sun rises from uh, the west, will it ever happen? Yes, of course it will happen. Does this undergo scientific facts? What scientific facts are you talking about? We're talking about the end of life. We're talking about the day of judgment. We're talking about, look at the hadith. The Prophet ﷺ said in one hadith that Allah the Almighty uh, uh, stretches out his hand every day and every night so that the person who sinned during the night will repent during the day and the person who sinned during the day will repent during the night and that will continue to take place on daily basis until the sun rises from its west right until the sun rises from its west no more forgiveness no more repentance no more belief so if a person believed when he saw the sun rises from the west, he said, I believe now there is God. It will not be accepted. Or a person who had believed, but he did not fulfill what Allah ordered him to do as a believer. He used not to pray. Now seeing the sun rising from the west, say, I'm going to stop praying. It won't help. It will not be accepted. Okay. Similarly, at the time of death and the Prophet ﷺ equated between these two occasions. When the person is lying down on his deathbed and he sees the angel of death. Can he explain death scientifically? Of course not. Can he explain how the soul is extracted from the body, from the physical being? Of course not. But the Prophet ﷺ explained it. Allah the Almighty explained it. So science has a limit. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذَا السَّنَاءُ شَقَّتْ and when he says, إِذَا السَّنَاءُ فَطَرَتْ When he says, إِذَا الْكَوَاكِبُ انْتَثَرَتْ When he says, إِذَا الْقُبُورُ فُجَّرَتْ إِذَا الْقُبُورُ بُعْثَرَتْ When he says, إِذَا الْبِحَارُ سُجَّرَتْ When he says, we discussed these ayat uh, in details and their meaning before. So there will be a major destruction for the whole universe that doesn't undergo any scientific equations, physics or math or... Uh, or whatever we study nowadays, there will be a complete disturbance, a complete إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَلَهَا وَأَخْرَاجَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا Look at this, listen to this Rami. وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا And the insan will say, what's going on? What is the matter? Major earthquake. We're not going to hear in the news that there is an earthquake measure 7.7 .7 or 8.7 .7 in Japan, in Tokyo or Russia. No, 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 no. Because the whole world will experience this earthquake. There will not be a single spot on earth which will be saved. The sky will not be intact as we see it nowadays. All over. All over. So al insan will say, what's up? What is the matter? What's going on? What's wrong? وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا What happened to the earth? It was fine yesterday. يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا بِأَنَّ رَبَّكَ أَوْحَى لَهَا The earth will answer this question and say, Well, my Lord ordered me to shake, to bring out all the dead from the very first to the very last, because this is a day of resurrection. Uh, atheists and disbelievers and many scientists have been exposed to tons of evidences in the Quran and the Sunnah, not just coinciding science, but predicting scientific facts which have been proven later on via science that this is the truth. This is the truth. It's a fact. We have to differentiate between facts and theories. Whatever is mentioned in the Quran pertaining science or otherwise is definitely a fact. Facts. But whatever we study in science, just theories. Uh, maybe a few years from now, a scientist will come up with a theory refuting a previous theory, such as Darwinism or evolution theory and the Big Bang and many, many scientific theories. So in fact, yes, this will happen. If I have time, I can refer to five, 10 or 20 scientific facts in the Quran that the Quran 
was the pioneer in addressing these scientific facts way before people realize what science is all about, such as in, in Surah Al-An'am, for instance, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَمَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَهْدِيهُ يَشْرَحْ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ And I chose this ayah with its scientific reference because it coincides what we're talking about. When Allah wants to guide somebody, He will open his heart to accept the truth. That's it. Whether uh, it coincides science or not. وَمَنْ يُرِدْ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُ And if Allah wants to leave somebody uh, astray, يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا حَرَجًا كَأَنَّمَا يَصَعَّدُ فِي السَّمَاءِ He will make his chest narrow and congested, like he's having a congested heart failure, like he's having an angina pectoris. He cannot breathe. When he, whenever he hears the Qur'an, whenever he's approached to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he feels like he cannot breathe. Similar to what? كَأَنَّمَا يَصَعَّدُ فِي السَّمَاءِ Look at this scientific miracle. This was revealed 1400 years ago. Only last century, people were able to fly. Aviation, uh, human beings have been trying to fly for a while. Only a few decades ago, they managed to make the first flight, first successful flight. So a few decades ago, we were able to go up and realize that the more you ascend, especially if it is over 20,000 feet above the sea level, what happens? What happens? The oxygen will decrease and the person will feel congested. That's why you have to equip and the planes have to be equipped with special uh, uh, pressure and special oxygen in order for people to survive uh, uh, at these high levels. So the Quran just spoke about this fact, the facts about the creation, embryology, etc., etc., which led many scientists to accept Islam. They ignored all of that and said, no. There is no way that the sun would rise from the west. Yes, it will rise from the west. The sun one day will rise from the west whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to. We have to prepare for this day.